Um, went to the final over. Um, what was your thoughts? Well, I think obviously, firstly, disappointment, obviously. Um, however, having said that, I think from some of the positions that we were in at times in the game, um, we arguably, arguably had no right to really hmm. win that game. Obviously, none for two, um, three for not much more. Um, to be able to post you know, a really competitive score, I thought, was a really good effort from everyone involved there. Um, and then we kept fighting with the ball. Um, you know, it's quite different conditions to what we used to at Emirates Old Trafford. Different type of pitch, a bit slower. Um, I think we adapted our lengths really well from the other night. We spoke about how you needed to bowl a little bit fuller on this surface compared to the other night, and we did that well. Um, you know, I think obviously Dolivera played well. He managed to st stick around and was played the anchor role, and, and they had guys who came in and hit crucial boundaries at times. Um, again, though, even right towards the end, you know, fantastic over, two overs from Ashburn Wall and from Woody, sort of really kept us in the game. Um, you know, an unfortunate situation there, uh, went for four and it should have been one, but you know, you can't really look at one moment in the game, but everyone has a tendency to do that in really tight games, but you know, over the course of the game, I think it was a really good workout. Um, we spoke about how tough we were to beat, even though we could have been better. So I think there's still a lot of encouragement to take from that game. At the halfway stage, uh, uh, what you reckon, about par or, or or a bit short? I mean, the recovery, as you say, from where you were was was terrific. Yeah. Were you reasonably happy with it? I think we were probably sitting around par, um, no more, no less, really. Um, 180 would have been great. 280 would have been great, you know, but um, I think 170, you know, it was a fair score and it showed in how difficult it was for them to get that. Um, as I said, they just hit a couple of crucial boundaries at times um, and one guy sort of hung around. Um, any of those balls that go to hand, um, you know, it's a different game, but no, yeah. all in all, good tight game in T20 cricket. Yeah, you've, I mean, you've, you've lost a game, there's loads of games, there's 12 more matches to go, but in terms of what you've done tonight, you've found a way to get a score from a a horrible position and you've kept the game live going right into the into the depth haven't you is that the general feeling amongst the players up there I think you know I think it was a great effort it's, I want to give a shout out to Matt Hurst I think the way he came out on effectively it was his first bat in T20 cricket I know he made his debut the other night but it's probably felt more like a debut because he was actually out there batting and for him to come out and hit his first ball for four down the ground and then later on hit over the top for six when we're three down for nothing I think shows the type of self-belief that you have to have to be successful in any form of cricket, but especially T20 cricket. Um, you have to be brave, you have to be brave consistently, and to see somebody effectively on debut um, come out with that sort of intent, I think is a great blueprint for everyone involved in the team and squad about how we need to go about our cricket in this format if we're going to have success, and that means fronting up, sticking your chest out, even when things aren't going well, and trusting yourself that you can execute the skills that you've got. Um, so, yeah, like you said, a tough loss, but um, a lot of positives. And for you personally, runs last night, you got runs again and wickets today. You feel like you're kind of up and running a little Doing bit for this season. The season. <laughs> yeah, obviously it's been really tough in four-day cricket. Uh, I think everyone can see that. Um, haven't got the numbers I'd like to have got anywhere by anything like, um, and uh, I'm not hiding behind that. Um, keep working really hard in that and obviously want to turn that around but yeah obviously it's great time to have uh, a go in the T20 blast um, I'm really enjoying my white ball cricket in the moment and I feel like I'm making really good progress um, st I've only really played for three years since I've been here mm. so although I'm a very experienced player in general um, I'm gaining experience game by game in this format so I'm really enjoying it and uh, it came at the right time just to really free myself up and, and hopefully I can keep contributing to wins and you're back at home on Sunday, um, you just go again, don't you? I guess you have to. You have to keep going. Um, obviously, you need a good rest uh, tomorrow. Um, I think we play Derby on Sunday, uh, 12 o'clock start, and I believe they've got a game the night before as well. So uh, sometimes schedule can be hard work. Um, but you know, we obviously had an unbelievably good game there um, last night, uh, Emirates Old Trafford. Um, this was a much better workout in general. You know, more pressure on the game, more pressure to deliver certain skills in overs and, and with the bat. So I think overall, if we're going to go to the depths of this competition, I think games like this will hold us in really good stead because we've been put under pressure and certain individuals have really fronted up. So let's hope that's a good omen moving forward. Cool. Thanks, mate. Cheers.